met TJ, uh, he was a young brother at UNF Jazz Camp. I remember I was like maybe 10 or 11. I still remember it to this day. He, he called me Lil Bill. <laughs> Needless to say, um, from there, man, like, I just stayed connected with him and um, wanted to see him develop more. From there, um, he just kind of took me under his wing and, you know, I just be studying with him, you know, on and off from seventh grade all the way to like high school, you know. TJ as a, as a student was, man, he was just like a sponge at that time while I was with him. Um, and his, his character is always respectful. I could, I could call him for anything. A silly question, it was a question about the music. You know, he would offer us perspective that I might not have thought before. And then I'd be able to come up with one either resolve on my own or a, a solution to a problem, you know. Hearing him challenge me to think differently in my own mind, it kind of made me mature as he just brought insights that I wouldn't have thought of at such a young age. We were in a lesson, private lesson, and he was just telling me, it's like, you got to fight and fight and fight and fight and fight. I may have been like in high school then, like 15, 14 or somewhere. It didn't click then, but like later on when you go and you kind of face life experiences, you realize there's a lot of obstacles in the way of what you might want to achieve. Hearing him talk about that and how intense he was when he was saying it, you know, jump started a sort of a drive in me, I felt, that I didn't necessarily have before, you know. The thing that I enjoyed about TJ as a student is that whatever I gave him, like he did. TJ is extremely passionate, um, was extremely passionate, and I think that's what's carrying him on to great levels right now. Yeah, and he always talks about going beyond just the surface of the music. If you're going to play a tune, he would ask questions like, okay, who wrote it? When was this piece written? You know, what records might it be on, you know? Every student I take, I'm trying to figure out what's some key things that I could give them to help them grow and do it to the absolute best of their ability. You have to figure out what works for you. You have to find your calling, your purpose, your tribe, your people, where you can build from fundamentally as a human being. That's an institute of luxury.